So I'd like to show you probably what is the simplest uh, approach to handling multiple languages in the same storyline project, and that is through the use of branching. Uh, you'll see here I'm in Storylines Story View, and the form of my project is I have a title slide, which is sitting here in its own scene, and then from there I've got um, different scenes for each language. So I've got my English version of the content, French, and Spanish. And by looking at the title slide, I can show you how this is all put together. So um, on this title slide, I've got three language selection buttons, um, English, French, and Spanish. And all we're doing with these is we are jumping to a scene. So we're going to jump to the English version when the user clicks that button. And same here, we're going to jump to a scene, the French version when the user clicks button two. Oops, and here we will jump to the Spanish scene when the user clicks button three. And that's really all there is to it. Um, from there, the learner would just progress down, progress down the appropriate language path. So uh, very clean and easy to set up. Um, it doesn't require uh, the use of a lot of uh, variables and triggers, uh, so it's pretty easy to maintain as well.